What's the difference between OFDMA and multi-user MIMO in Wi-Fi 6? The Wi-Fi 6 standard relies on two key features that enable the most efficient wireless networks to date, OFDMA and multi-user MIMO. OFDMA and multi-user MIMO are both multi-user technologies, which means they allow a single wireless access point or router to simultaneously communicate with multiple endpoints, like laptops and smartphones. But while OFDMA and multi-user MIMO complement each other, they also have some key differences. We first saw multi-user MIMO in Wi-Fi 5, but it's bigger and better in the new standard. Using this feature, a Wi-Fi 6 access point can transmit as many as eight data streams at once from separate antennas, instead of only four in Wi-Fi 5. In other words, imagine a single lane highway running from an AP to a group of endpoints. Multi-user MIMO can open seven additional traffic lanes, adding up to less congestion and better performance. On the other hand, Wi-Fi 6's brand new OFDMA feature is more like carpooling, helping to reduce bandwidth waste. It works by dividing a wireless channel into smaller subcarriers and separating those subcarriers into even smaller resource units. The AP can then divvy up those small chunks of bandwidth among multiple users, bundling separate packets into a single simultaneous transmission. OFDMA is particularly useful for high density environments like stadiums or airports and in networks with frequent low bandwidth transmissions like those from voice applications and IoT nodes. Learn more about how OFDMA and multi-user MIMO work together in the link above. While most wireless analysts expect OFDMA to have a greater impact than multi-user MIMO, both features help Wi-Fi 6 networks work smarter and not just faster to exponentially increase network efficiency and capacity.